Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and we're doing it. We're reviewing the Slave One from the 2015 re-release. It's a Force Awakens version is what I'm going to be calling it because Kylo Ren's on there and this came out at the same time that all the new Force Awakens toys came out. Wow. So this, I, I want to say this retailed at like 30 bucks. Is what it was. I paid about ten. I paid like ten for it a couple years ago at like a local toy sale trade thing that they do at, one, at Rogue Toys. Someone had it and I was like, "Yeah, I'll give you ten bucks for it." I'm gonna compare it to the vintage collection one that we already took a look at earlier this week, which is like super detailed, really well done. This I'm expecting. This isn't even as big as the slave one, the other slave one. This is gonna be tiny, but this one does come with Boba Fett. It actually comes with the figure. So for the money, it may not have been a terrible deal. But either way, let's take a look at the outside of the box. Okay, so as I mentioned before, it does say the Star Wars. It's got Kylo Ren because it's from the 2015 release. The artwork actually looks really cool. What does it say? Fantasy scene. Oh, you can't really make it look like it's in space because we're not in space. Firing missile. Very nice. What else we got here? Boba Fett. There he is. Boba Fett looks good. The decals look good. I don't imagine him being super articulated, probably just like a 5 POA, maybe some wrist rotation. So we'll call it 6 or 7 POA. Uh, very plain looking jetpack, similar to the vintage collection one that I've got. What is that? Someone want to translate that for me? What does that say? I don't know off the top of my head. Warning, Hasbro, Disney, assembly required, no tools needed. What's on the bottom here? Anything good? One toy. Okay, alright. What about the side? Anything good? Star Wars. That same planet thing. Oh, what does that say? Interesting. And let's take a look at the back. There's probably a little blurb. Boba Fett flies his Starfighter Slave 1 to Bespin as he tracks down the Millennium Falcon, a prized bounty Han Solo. And the same thing in a bunch of other languages. This specifically says Empire Strikes Back. Interesting. So, I mean, that's when we know it from, for sure. But what is that? First Order Flame Trooper. That one looks cool. I like the backpack. Resistance Trooper. These used to be a peg warmer. I see a bunch of them in my Toys R Us when Toys R Us was the thing. Y-Wing Scout Bomber. I have that, and I've never reviewed it. If I'm correct, it comes with Kanan? I think it comes with Kanan. Uh, it is approved by Zero to Three Sad Babies. Very cool. Boba Fett. Uh, again, that figure looks good. That's a good-looking figure. So who knows? Go figure. There's a little missile shooter in the front. We've got a little cannons. Rotating wings again. And a pop-out cockpit. So overall, it looks like it could be pretty cool. Like a decent, a decent toy. But we'll compare it and see. Okay, here goes. Now, whenever I do these, I like to do them figure side first. That way, if I ever repack them um, for, like, putting them back in my closet or keeping things neat. Because I don't have enough room in this room for my entire collection. Uh, but whenever I repack stuff, I like to keep it as neat as possible. So, I do it figure side. Oh, this is tiny. This is super tiny. Okay. I mean... As I was just complaining about not having enough space, this actually might be a decent solution for that. Because um, my other one's taking up a huge chunk up there <laughs> on display, which I'll show you the difference here in just a minute. But wow, this isn't this isn't very much at all. This is small. This is very small. Did I get it all already? Did I? Good. Cool. Um, oh, it's a little scuffed up. That's fine. That's fine. So this is this is it. This is the slate. He's he's very small. The other one you could I could block my whole face with. This one is super tiny. Were there instructiones is the real question. That's what I want to know. I want to make sure I do this right. Sometimes I put things together the wrong way. I don't know how I could with only two pieces. But still, still, I don't want to miss something. So let me empty this little bag here. Oh yeah, this is tiny. Look at the wing. The wing's this big. The other one, the wings were like this. From like there to there. So, very tiny scale. I've got two wings. I even have to put on stickers. I have to put on almost as many stickers as I did the vintage collection version. So, <laughs> almost. Let's see, what are the instructions? Assembly! Okay, it says to... Number one is to take this and place it inside the... Does it snap? Oh yeah, it snaps. It snaps. You heard it snap. Okay, decent size. Those should just snap in in a similar way. Cool. And at the same time, this... I don't think I did that right. Okay, that's not too bad. Those seem to be alright. Cool. 
Again, it's much smaller scale. Uh, number three is to attach all of our cannons and all of our guns. That's fine, we can attach all the blasters. And I think the other one is to put the missile inside. Is there, is there a right and a wrong on this one? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay. Just kind of pokes out the front. That's cool. And then attach my labels. Oh, do they go inside? They go inside. Is there an easy way to pop this cockpit open? There is. It does pop open fairly easily. I just don't, I don't know if I fully understand where these labels go. Oh, those are tricky. Those are actually really tricky. I don't know where this goes, guys. Just kidding. I found it. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the stickers on and I'll show you those in just one second. Okay, so I've got this thing assembled. Putting the stickers on was nothing. That was no problem at all. But next, let's take a look at Mr. Boba Fett. Uh, blaster rifle looks good. And we'll compare Boba Fett's, vintage collection of Boba Fett's, to this one. Um, because this might just solve all your problems. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the articulation. One arm moves, arms up and down, legs left, that's it. So, and a head moves, so five POA so far. That's it, it is a five POA figure, five points of articulation. Shoulders move like this, legs move in a similar fashion, and the head rotates, and that's all you get out of this boba. But, that said, it's a good looking boba. Paint applications are good. Like, let's let's take a look at some close-ups for you guys. Okay, so here they are. Here are two of them. Here are both Bobas. Can you tell which is which? Do you know which one is the 5 POA and which is the fully articulated vintage collection? Now, I'm seeing pros and cons to both, actually. So just to let you know, this one on the left, this one right here, is the Boba Fett from this set that we're looking at right now, this Force Awakens version. And this one on this side is the Vintage Collection. You can tell by the cloth cape and just by better detail on the paint apps and everything. Um, it's just it's just a better looking figure. I mean, it's a better, highly higher detailed figure. But I actually like the look of the helmet on this one better. It just looked, it looks better, right? Doesn't it? I feel like the helmet shape on the left on this new one just looks way better. Uh, like I said, it is only five points of articulation, so nothing really to write home about as far as, like, what it does. Oh. 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 I knocked him over. It's official. It is official. But I did want to just kind of show you guys all the different sides and angles so you can see. What we're, I mean, look at that. Look at the difference there in the Mando crest. It's, like, really well detailed in a good size on the cheapo boba, but the expensive boba... It is so tiny, you can barely see it. I'm sure this one's a bit more accurate, but it actually looks better on this one. In, in my opinion, in my opinion. Um, he's much, he's a little bit taller. He's a little chunkier and taller, which I actually like, because I feel like when I compared this Boba to the other Boba, to the Mandalorian, Boba was shorter in the figures, in the figures. So there's that. I'm just kind of a look. Let's turn him around. Look at the jetpack, the jetpack, jetpack, there we go. And, okay, not, like they at least painted this one a little bit on the vintage collection. This one, it's got a, it's like only painted those little silver parts and that's it. As far as the sculpt, I actually like this sculpt a little more than I do this one. Maybe because they painted it so weird. I don't know. What do you think? I, I just like the pointiness of that right there a little more than that. That's just me. That's just, I don't know. You let, you let me know. Uh, let's turn him one more angle here. Whoa! Oh, I knocked them both over. They are officially both Dano Channel Bobas. Will he stay up? Um, I wanted to look at his, his little blaster rifle and show you guys the differences there, but we will. We will have to see. You guys can kind of see the, the braids. The Wookie, allegedly Wookie braids. Will we stand up at that angle? You will stand up at that angle. Cool. Um, just to, so those are vintage collection braids. They move. And these are the, the ones that are sculpted on. Again, there's a look at the blaster. A little, a little wonky. A little wonky on that blaster. A little bent. Versus the other one that's a little more put together. And this has a better, kind of a better, a better look to it overall. Um, that's a better look at the two of them. Yeah. 
I mean, definitely some pros and cons here for both. Um, the helmet, though, I really like the look of the helmet of this one. In fact, I might repaint this one to look like the latest version we saw of Boba in The Mandalorian. Because he's almost there. He looks right. If I just paint the suit black underneath, add a couple little details here and there, he could look like the new version, just as a cool custom. Now, we've seen the Boba Fetts. We've seen what those look like side by side. But now we need to look at what does this look like compared to the vintage collection version. It is it is night and day, friends. It is night and day. Look at that. Huge, huge difference. You can, it's like a little baby. You can fit this little baby one in there. It's a huge, huge difference. And somebody on Amazon is trying to sell you this set for like 100 bucks. So don't get swindled. Don't get this one. It's it's not terrible. Like if you don't have space, this one's actually not bad. Um, I mean, it looks cool. The sculpt on it's fine. It does this little. Let me see if I can if I can shoot my hand here. There you go. It it does do a projectile launcher, which I always manage to drop these things whenever I fire them off. But that's it. It is just the one missile. There's no other seismic charges or anything like that the wings uh they do swivel do they swivel together is the question yeah they do look i turn one the other one turns and that actually works better than the vintage collection version one does because if i go to turn the vintage collection one i'll turn one and it kind of works but then it like one wants to move independently of the other yeah they'll lock into place eventually but there's that um let's actually do some close-ups on this ship i'm going to turn up my lights a little more just so you guys can get a better view. Okay, so just, just so you guys can see the details on this. It's it's not bad. I mean, the paint apps on this are going to be way better on the Vintage Collection. All the different gradients and colors. This is very base of just like boom, boom, and boom. That's it. Just those three. Um, there's a, Oh, there's a couple little details here and there. The yellows are a nice little touch. Which I don't recall seeing yellow as much. Oh, yeah, it is on there. It's on the wings. Just done better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know what really to tell you. There's not a place to put a Han Solo or anything like that. But I can take Boba, and I can slide him in here, I think. I think I can slide him in here. I might have to remove the jetpack. Sorry, brother, we gotta remove your jetpack. Ah! There you go, maybe that'll be a little bit easier for you to slide in. Slide on in, buddy. Okay, so it did take some work, but... And I had to put the camera down. <laughs> but I did get him in there. I had to remove the jetpack. I had to remove the blaster. There's one of the stickers I put on. There's another sticker I put on right there. You guys can sort of see. There's one of the stickers. There's the other sticker. And then the third sticker I had to put on was down here at the very bottom. Which I feel like will definitely get overlooked. Um, none of these little hatches open up or anything. As far as I know, they didn't say they did. Look, my, my blasters are already wonky. That didn't take very long at all. So, I mean, it's it's okay. It is an okay ship. It doesn't do anything like the, the swiveling cockpit like the other one does. It is an okay looking ship. The details are there. This is something I would pick up for cheap and then put a black wash on and customize and paint myself to really, really make it pop. Okay, there you have it. There's my look at the cheapo set, the Boba Fett and Slave One set from Empire Strikes Back, but it's part of the Force Awakens line, what do you guys think? I definitely think the figure itself is decent. It's 5 POA, but it's actually, it's not a bad figure. The ship, it's not a terrible ship. At the time, it was the only thing you could buy, like new. You could always buy this stuff older. In fact, somebody pointed out to me that this, um, this was not the first release. The Vintage Collection was not the first version of this. This is actually a remold of one from Episode 2, it's called like Legend of Boba Fett or Rise of Boba Fett pack that came with this and a Jedi Starfighter. But it was painted to look like Slave 1 when Django owned it. So it had that bluish kind of color. And honestly, I think I'm going to try and pick that up because it's the exact same mold as this. But it is very expensive. As for this one, cool display piece. Definitely something I would customize. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up customizing this Boba Fett to look like the newest version that we've seen on Mandalorian Chapter 15. Um, I'm going to try and... I think I'm going to make him look... It's kind of like that. I'm going to try at least. We'll see. We'll see. I may not document it, but this was this whole set isn't for nothing. You know, it's not for nothing. It has its place. It's just, it's the cheaper one. Don't get scammed on Amazon accidentally buy this when you think you're buying that. Because there should be a huge price difference. 
This, I wouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for. It's a cool ship and it's a cool figure, but like, maybe with shipping 25. Maybe with shipping 25, but that's me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you like this? What? I mean, if it's in your budget, that's cool, man. That's cool. No judgment here. It is what it is. I would just save up and rather get something a little bit cooler and bigger when it comes to this vehicle in particular. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for making it this far into the video, for hearing my opinions. I want to know yours down there. Thank you guys for watching. Special shout out to the patrons, to the channel members, and until next time, be the spark. Don't be a move milker or reverse that. And don't be a move milker. Just first and foremost, don't be a move milker. And if you have time after that, be the spark.